Hello everybody and welcome to this Flutter video tutorial. In this Flutter video tutorial, we will work on a simple project that showing the news from the news API using HTTP request and getting this data as you can see on the screen. So by the end of this video, you are gonna learn how to develop uh, this news app as you can see on the screen a title bar an image it has a title and also when we click on any news uh, you can go to the detail page that we can read all the detail about that news and we can come back again so if you are new in this channel please subscribe the channel for not losing the other videos so and those who are following us from our Flutter series. This app is a little bit advanced topic and I'm trying to explain them one by one that you can understand all the things. So let's jump to the code. As you can see on the screen, a simple project that has main and also it has stateful widget and the builder method. Material app at home, it has scaffold, it has app bar, and a title text news api http request the center title is equal to true so before starting coding we have to go to the news api news api website this is the news api website you can you can create your own account here using the news api and it will provide you you the key that you will use on your project. So remember that uh, you should always using your own key for your project. And this key is belongs to me. So as you can see, we have our JSON data in here. So what we are gonna use inside this, we have articles and also the source. We are going to use this source and also the article what source has it has an id and name what the articles has it has author title and description url and url to image published at and also content let's go on the code and create a model for this source before going to the code you can copy uh, this url there is an online tool called QuickType that it makes our development more faster. Paste your code here. From here you can choose the dot and you will get all the necessary things that you can use on your project. So let's go in the project and create our model. So guys, in here I'm going to lib folder and right click on Android Studio and creating a new directory called model models inside this model we have our dot file called source model which was name it source model dot dot and now we can create our source class here inside this class we have two property one is string id and one is string name we need to generate the constructor for it you can create it uh, yourself or you can right click in here and choose the const the generate and choose the constructor uh, select the name and id and it will generate the constructor for you and you can put the curly bracket here and also make them required this is the constructor after that we need to create a factory function that map our json as you can see we have the factory function of source from json it makes a map of string dynamic and it will return the source id json id and the name json name this factory method when we give something to this and it will generate something for us so guys this is the first model which is source model so now let's go and create another model called article model why article model because we have articles here that has data inside by again uh, right click on your models folder and 
articles model underscore model dot dot let's create the article the article model by typing article articles model dot dot what we can do the same which we did with a source we will create uh, our variables and the constructor and the factory method so as you can see i created all the data inside the article which is source source uh, we created before i import the library i import it here and we have string author title description url url to image and also we have date and time for published ad and string content so let's generate the constructor for this and also the factory function uh, so guys you can see that we have our factory article and also all the content for that i removed that required parameter from here because of null safety i just turned that off and now there is no error so as you can see our models are ready both the source model and articles so what to do next let's build our services to use the http request let's create another folder inside our lib directory called services or the api service inside this we can make a dot file called api services api service dot dot inside our api services let's create a class named services and we will use the http request adding our endpoint to the service by typing class service service api inside this we will build a final endpoint url is equal to we will put our endpoint here so what is our endpoint let's go to the website uh, you can copy this from here and you you can paste it in your services endpoint url so remember that this is my key and you have to put your own key here put a semicolon at the end the error will disappear so now we have our url what else we should do in here uh, now let's create our http request function but before we are going to create that function we have to go uh, to the pubspec.yaml and add the dependency for the http so let's go to the pub.dev website and search for the http you will get the http package how we can install it click on the installation and copy this dependency and go back to your project and paste it inside your dependence and now you can click to the pub get to install this package and we will use it in the future so when there is no error you can go back to api service in here we can create our function so this is our function for getting the data from the endpoint so how it works first let's get rid of this error by importing the package http we can import it at the top so the error has gone let's know more about this method so what is future we are using because our data is coming in the future that's why we are using the future and if we are using future we have to use the async and when we are using async it means that in the future something is coming and we should use the wait keyword to wait for getting our data from the end point so it goes to this url and get our data and put it inside the resources then we can check it if the status code is equal to 200 it means that we have data so when we have data after that we are going to decode the json from the body to the map in here we are going to get the data and decode the json data to the map and after that we are going to use the list view then we can use the articles data 
and put them inside our model for using inside the list view. What is news model? News model is a variable which is null and here when we get the data and put inside the news model and then return it back. In case we don't get the data, it means we uh, don't get the 200 code. So uh, we add a try and catch block that if there is an exception, then we can return the news model. So what to do next? Let's go to our main dot dot. Let's work on another function called future builder. So inside the body of our scaffold we have something future builder the future builder function which takes a future and a builder inside the future we can, it has client which we can give it the model which we defined earlier get articles in the builder uh, it takes a builder context a build context context async snapshots of type articles list and snapshot in here we are gonna check if a snapshot has data, if it has data, then what we can do? Then we create a list with the type of articles, which is articles and snapshot data. And then we return list view dot builder. Uh, as we know that list view dot builder takes item count and a item builder. In item count, we can give it the articles dot length whatever the length of this articles means the data which comes from the uh, snapshot data it should be the length of that builder uh, need a context and index it will return for now i just return a list tile that we should test it that if we if the data is coming from the article if the data is coming then we show it in a title text with article index dot title so if there is no data then it will return a circular progress indicator at the center of our page so let's uh, run our app and test it whether we uh, get our data from the url or not so as you can see finally we are getting our data from the news API using HTTP request. Let's go uh, on the design part. Let's design our app as we want. So I'm going to lib folder and create a new folder called screen inside our screen main screen dot dot. What we should do in our uh, main page or main screen, I already created the design part because we are working most of the time with widgets and uh, with containers and other so now I created them and now I'm gonna explain them I created the main screen uh, which takes article article and a uh, build context context in here it return inkwell inkwell as we know previously on our flatter series that when we are going to apply some click or tap on something then we are using the inkwell if you don't know the inkwell you can visit our video on about the inkwell by clicking or at the top a suggestion inside this on tap it will navigate when we are clicking on some articles it will uh, route to the next page or to the detail page or details page that we I didn't create it yet so I will create after explaining this code so there is a child a container which we are most of the time using the container we have as you can see we have container here the margin of 12 and the edge inset padding at pixel also use the decoration box decoration I give the color white and a border radius of 12 you can change it for yourself a box shadow which has a color color black 2 and blur radius of 3 next as you can see we have a column we put the this text and this text the first one is a column which has a height of 200 inside this we give a width and height and box decoration we have here image decoration image that we work on that before as well 
and now we are getting the image from network but we are using the image network we are getting from our article dot url to image then we give it a fit property uh, to cover and our border radius of 12. next we uh, just separate it with a size box of 8 pixel and the next one is another container which has which has a padding and box decoration a color blue which you can see and also a border radius of 10 you can whether you can change it we have a child of text which you can show the title we are from article dot source and we get the name and also some styles color is equal to color white as you can see and other size box which is separated the text these two container and the last one is a text that uh, has article title which has the style and font width bold and the size of 16 so i hope you understand this all now let's go and uh, create our details page in our screen let's create a dot file called details screen screen detail or detail screen details screen dot dot so what we have in our detail details page so i also created the details page it is the same as our main page or our main screen the only difference it has it takes the articles title from the article the title of app bar from the article titles the others are the same container uh, which content box decoration decoration image and also the articles image url to image and also it has a container to show this option and also another container and also the text with that container a size box and the last one is the text which shows the description of this article and let's go back to the main screen and let's import this library also our error has gone now so now our details screens are also completed and also the main the main screen let's go to the main dot dot instead of returning the list tile we simply return our main screen here instead of this list tile i'm gonna type the main screen so also i'm gonna remove this bracket and also let's import the main screen it won an article and a context so we give it article index dot title and also comma context and also delete this title now the error has gone and let's run our app to see our ui that we created now you can see the progress bar circular process bar and now finally we we got our data inside a list view with a beautiful ui getting the data from news api using the http request so guys this is beautiful and now we can scroll it how much data we have in here we can see them and now let's click i'm gonna click the number one and boom we have our titles with the titles of our articles and the image and the details which comes from the rest api so we can go back another one so guys thank you for watching till the end of this video i hope you learn something from this video about the rest api using http request to getting data from news api so guys this is the first simple project that we created in our series in the future we will have multiple projects in our series so still if you are not subscribed so please subscribe the channel and thumbs up if you like that if you have any question comment it below i will answer it as soon as i can and see you guys with another video